Hello my darlings, it's Dion Dean back with another video. How has your week been going? It's been it's been doing some things down in South Florida. I don't know if you can tell, but I my voice has gone raspy because I have allergies. I don't know what's going on in the atmosphere, but I woke up this morning and my voice was gone. I've been sneezing and coughing and having post nasal drip. And so where is the best place to go when you're having allergy issues? The thrift store. <laughs> the dustiest place on the planet but i do it for you let me not blame you i do it for me you guys know that i love salvation army half off wednesdays and so i had to go to see what the, what was in the streets what the streets were saying um so let's do a little bit of shop with me and then we'll come back to some really great pieces i'm shopping for fall or a South Floridian fall, but you know with Poshmark we have sellers all over the country And so although I'm in South Florida I want to make sure that I am prepared or my store is prepared for fall So shop with me and then let's come back and see what I got Okay, let's see what they got in here I should just saw the red ones of this hold on I Saw it here somewhere hold on Tyler Rudon, is that somebody? Hmm, I haven't heard of them. Doesn't mean that they're not somebody. Hold on. Where is that bag? I saw the red one somewhere. Oh, here it is. On the other side. <laughs> it's okay. All right, so let's look through these. This is where you find a lot of like designer skirts. So I always go through the black skirts. Oops, I'll put that back in a minute. Um, I always go through the black skirts because this is where you can find Acris and Theory. Um, I found a Celine skirt at one point because it's basic black. And so um, individuals that do wear luxury like to spend um, like to spend money on the basics, and so that's where they will put their dollars is in luxury basics. So always go through the black skirts. It's a golf skirt. I like that belt though. That's pretty. Let's see. 21. Always from 21. Oh, this is nice. This is hot mode. Which is fast fashion, I think. Is it fast fashion? Let's see. This is Athleta. Is that what I'm doing well right now? I don't know. Oops, I'll put it in the cart. I need to touch the zipper. Make sure that's working. So I'll put it in the cart. Let's see. Some of the stuff you can feel and you just know it's not, you know, it's not of quality. I don't know what this is. But something that's lined. You always want to look for something that's lined. Um, because that's an indicator of quality as well. So the fabric, Kenzie Girl. So just by feeling it, you go, oh, not, not lined, not lined, not lined, not lined. This is DKNY, and as you can see, it is lined. Let's see, this is like a vintage stretch. Let's see, who is this? There's a lot of vintage in the store as well, so. All right, we're done with skirts. Okay, so I know this is boring for many of you, but basic black pants. Once again, that's where people are gonna spend their money. Banana Republic. I like that, this feels good. I like the quality of that, okay, let's keep going. Once again, I'm going by feeling. Shea Crew, extremely crushed, and I'm not one for ironing or steaming. Armani, this is Armani Collection. Okay, here we go. So, here's one that I would actually, <laughs> let's see, that I would actually iron and take care of. I don't know what size that is. I'll put it in the cart to figure it out. Look at the cart. Oh my gosh. I came in here looking for three things, and here I go. All right, so let's see. Nine West. Loft. I'm not gonna get suckered into buying more loft. I'm just not. 
Dare go through jeans? I dare not. Um, Faded Glory, six ninety nine. I mean, I probably will <laughs> because I'm a thrift addict. So here's the ladder for twenty one guys. This looks like the oh no, ink line. Beautiful. Okay. So let's leave pants alone for a little bit. Go to another section. Forgive me guys, I was shopping for jeans and I didn't include you. So let's look through jeans, Banana Republic. You know what, I have never purchased Banana Republic jeans. I'm gonna try this one because it's a cropped flare, which is on trend right now. So you know what, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna buy it. You, just, you never know. Um, Lucky Brand, own jeans. You guys know I'm in this space where I buy what I like. Well, that would have been pretty. Cute, Reese's. I don't know who that is. Urban something. I don't know who that is. Uh, Dex. I'm not quite sure who that is. Mana Sport. Gloria Vanderbilt that I find at every thrift store and in all the bins. And I need to buy it here. New York and Coke, and it's fine. Not your daughter's jeans, which is on the um, bankrupt list. It's supposed to be going bankrupt next year. We shall see, but I don't want to put that in my store if that's the case. And remember, I used to watch them too. Yeah, very sad. Let's see. Six Brothers. Oh, it's a little messy. And dirty. More Blair Vanderbilt, the Amanda. You guys need to let me know if that sells for you. I see it all the time. More not your daughter's jeans. Hmm. I don't know. I don't like it with the crease down the middle. Good price though. Let's continue. Forever 21. Nautica. Lee. Styling Co. More not your daughters. I don't know. Do you guys sell not your daughters? Let's be, because there's a lot here. A lot here. Alright, I think I'm done with jeans for the moment, as you can see. <laughs> okay, so here's shorts and skirts. I kind of like these shorts, y'all. I kind of like these shorts. I kind of like this. Okay. Um, capris. It's like a capris and skirts. I'm looking for skirts. Now, I don't need another leather skirt. Or texture. Oh, I like that. Or texture. This is like textured skirt. I like that. You guys know I live in South Florida, so I don't need it. But I want it because it's fall. I really like that. Let's see. Um, but like faux leather. This kind of. This is blue. It's black, but it's blue. Um, faux leather. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Here we have faux leather. It's like over 21. I feel like I have this skirt, actually. I might. Yeah, that's all I'm seeing for now. Forgive me, guys. I was shopping for jeans, and I didn't include you. So let's look through jeans. Banana Republic. You know what? I have never purchased. Banana Republic jeans. But I'm going to try this one because it's a cropped flare, which is on trend right now. So, you know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. I just, you never know. Um, Lucky Brand. Long jeans. You guys know I'm in this space where I buy what I like. Well, that would have been pretty. Cute Reese's. I don't know who that is. Urban something. I don't know who that is. Uh, Dex. I'm not quite sure who that is. Mana Sport. Gloria Vanderbilt that I find at every thrift store and in all the bins. And I need to buy it here. New York and Coke. And it's fine. Not your daughter's jeans, which is on the um, bankrupt list. It's 
supposed to be going bankrupt next year. We shall see, but I don't want to put that in my store if that's the case. And remember, I used to work for them too. Yeah, very sad. Let's see. Brooks Brothers. Oh, it's a little messy. And dirty. More Claire Vanderbilt, the Amanda. You guys need to let me know if that sells for you. I see it all the time. More not your daughter's jeans. Hmm. I don't know. I don't like it with the crease down the middle. Good price though. Let's continue. For the Boom. Nautica. Lee. Style and Co. More not your daughters. I don't know. Do you guys sell not your daughters? Let's be because there's a lot here. A lot here. Alright. I think I'm done with jeans for the moment. As you can see. <laughs> So there are two things that I probably get asked for the most, capes and faux furs. And so I found a faux fur for you guys. This, I want to say, is a medium. This is, let me see, let me see, let me see, dust. <laughs> I opened it up and I was like, why did I do that? This is a medium and it is a brown, it's not full length, um, it's probably like to the hip or down to the hip, but you guys know. When I saw this faux fur, I thought it was going to be for me. But no, I could not fit a medium, and so I got it for you guys. So here is a faux fur. And you know what? Me and my class, we were actually talking about faux, faux, faux fur, whether whether they were for fur or against fur or for, for faux fur. Cute, right? <laughs> so we're talking about faux fur um, and how the industry has really... Um, Prada, Gucci, and some other lines have said they're not going to be doing fur anymore. Um, so I thought that was really interesting that I found that today because I haven't really found a lot of faux, faux fur down here in South Florida. I have found fur and that's because we have snowbirds, right? And so they may have fur in their closets, you know, some old and older population, they may have fur in their closets down here for when they're traveling back and forth, back and forth. And so I don't find a lot of faux fur. I do find a lot of fur. And so, um... I really, I really enjoy that I found that I don't have that color faux fur, and that's why I was excited, because it was going to be for me, um, <laughs> but yeah, 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 so next, uh, oh, yeah, next is, where did she put it, there's a sweater, where did she put it, I don't know where she put it, oh, here she put it, so this sweater, darling, Darlings, when I tell you, you need to put a chair right here. Woo, I'm about to sneeze. Hold on, Holy Ghost. Okay, <laughs> the sneeze has passed. When I saw this, darlings, I knew this was going to be in my closet. I knew that I was going to stretch it out and wear it because this is so. Ooh, is this removable? Ooh, it has removable shoulder pad. I may stretch this out. Look at this sweater. Look at this sweater. Hold on, hold on, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. The cuffs, girls. The cuffs, girls and guys. Look at this sweater. Oh my gosh. This is so fly. Look at the cuff and the neck. Oh my gosh. I'd be out here looking like an Egyptian goddess out in these streets. Can I stretch this out? No. No. I'm not, I'm not going to even do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not gonna hurt the sweater. Oh my god, but that is so cute. <sighs> so yeah. And that's what I was looking for, because I had her pack it very lightly. I was like, listen. I'm gonna see if that can fit me. <laughs> she laughed at me. Um, so next, so you guys, as I mentioned before, as I mentioned earlier, I'm working on fall in my closet. And so this is an example. I don't know if a store did this or if this was in somebody's closet. But I found three of the same blazer in different colors. And so fall to me, when I think of fall, I think of faux fur. I think of capes. Of course, we think of sweaters. But I also think of leather or faux leather. And so look at the Susan Graver. Look at that. And they're all in a 14, brand new. Susan Graver. And this reminds me of the... Um, Alexander Wang piece that I had in my um, in my closet. It's since sold, but with the leather trimming Look at that Leather trimming on the cuff 
on the, um, the collar and on the pocket, right? So one, two, Oh, sorry, one, two, three. So yeah, purple, blue, and green, all size 14. And so, you know, again, this has stretch in it. So I had not intended to put this on Poshmark. I was like, I can stretch this. But I'm not going to hurt the garment. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Because you know your girl has been walking on the treadmill. For those of you that have recognized, yes, I am working on my health and fitness. And so instead of eating, I now walk. And so I get up and walk um, most mornings at um, 5 a.m. I walk a mile or I um, do the elliptical for 40 minutes at the gym. Um, and you can see it in my skin and just how my skin is reacting because I'm not stressing, I'm not eating, I'm not letting anybody stress me out in 2019. I did that enough, I did that enough. 2019, I'm free, I'm getting free from folks. And so, because I'm working out and I'm eating better, and I mentioned this in the other video, um, I was diagnosed with anemia, and so, my uh, doctor has me on a high dose of iron and she wanted to put me, I know this is TMI, okay? Fast forward if you don't want to hear this. Um, but you may be going through this too. So she put me on a high dose of iron and she wanted to um, prescribe some laxatives or colays or some other stuff. And I was like, I'm not doing that to my body. That's just not God. Um, so instead of doing that, I've just been having a cup, a cup or two cups of spinach every day, broccoli every day, an apple every day. Um, blueberries every day. I've just really upped my um, my fruits and veggies so that I don't have to take anything that's going to help me because iron does bind you up. So um, I say all that to say I may be able to fit those 14s early next year. We don't know. We don't know how how my the way my body's set up. Okay. <laughs> so more leather. I saw this. This isn't generally a brand that I would go for. But I like the style of it. This is metaphor. I want to say metaphor is JC Penny, but look at the style of this. It's mixed. There you go. Mixed fabrics, mixed textures. So we have the leather here. This is kind of like not a ponte. You guys see that? It's ribbed. Can you see that? Yes, you guys can see that. It's ribbed. And so it's kind of figure hugging, but not like a bodycon. And so I really like this. This was my zhuzh. And you guys know what I'm doing for my closet right now is I'm buying what I like. Am I looking at brands? Yes, as you saw in the video, I am looking, especially when it comes to like pants and jeans. Yes, I'm looking at brands because that's just who I am. But um, when it comes to pants and um, jeans, but for the most part, I'm just buying what I like. Um, you know? And I say that as I pull out White House Black Market, but I, I bought this piece. This is White House Black Market. I bought this because I did not know that it was such a great um, seller. I have bought, I think, maybe two or three pieces, and they have all sold. They didn't stay that long in my closet, and so I did get this because it was White House Black Market. But when I saw it, I actually thought that it was um, Millie um, because it was so well-made and just a pretty little black dress and so um, I picked it up thinking it was something else I picked it up because I, I really liked it and I thought it was Millie it wasn't it was White House Black Market and I decided to get it so here we are on so this I actually have something like this in my closet right so this is Robert Louis which I think did you hear that that was Raleigh. I'm trying to open the locked door. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is Robert Louis. And this, I want to say it's a fast fashion brand. I've never heard of the brand before. Um, this is something that I have like in my closet. And so it's like a waterfall kind of front. I love this type of stuff. This is stuff you can put over like a, a red sheath dress, a green sheath dress, and it just works. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Okay, there's that. Once again, I think I'm in Chicago. The color. I got this because of the color and the collar. Look at the collar on this here. Look at that. Oh, that's so fabulous. This is so fabulous. Look at the color. Can you see that? 
it's like green yellow white and gray and so look at the color from the back you always see those and once again this is a Chicago enemy right you always see those women at the bus stop or at the train stop and they have an amazing coat they're wearing like all black but they have an amazing coat and so this is for that girl like you just you have you're wearing basics but you want a fabulous coat so I got that to jeans so you guys know that I do love a jean and a pants darling and I cannot let them go no matter how much I have no matter if they sell or not I mean they sell eventually they sell so I got these why am I buying petite too petite. I bought these because they were new with tags. Okay, let's be real. Anything that's new with tags is fair game. I'm putting it in my cart. So these are new with tags. J. Crew Frankie Stretch. Um, $69.50. I want to say it's a J. Crew outlet because it has the dots on it. Um, who did I learn that from? El Ducho? Do I have no, um, did I or States or Nicole? One of my fellow resellers um, that sells full time. I don't know who I remember. I think it was Nicole um, or Denali. I don't know. N Denali is El Ducho Thrift on YouTube, and um, Nicole State, of course, state pl state's place. But somebody talked about the dots. Can you see that? So the dots underneath. Don't look at my nails, y'all. Y'all know I wait. I only get them done once a month. Don't judge me. Um, <laughs> but I don't know how can. Yeah. So the, the dots under that right there um, says that that is the outlet. So. I got those and those are just pencil pencil pants and then who's gonna clean my bed off after I do this video let's talk about that let's talk about that cuz I'm throwing stuff on my bed like somebody gonna pick it up must be Riley <laughs> these are B okay so BDG I love there's a lot going on in this house so BDG I love um, it's a kind of like a June not junior like a young adult probably like Gen Y brand um, I think they sell at Urban Outfitters, I want to say. If you guys know, let me know. Um, but I do sell BDG, and I've been selling them for a while. These, I like these, the style of this. This is a high-rise seam jean. And so, you know, that's what the kids are wearing now in the streets. You know, my classroom, I'm seeing what's going on. I'm seeing what my kids are wearing, what they're loving. And I'm like, mm, okay, I need to get those. So these are some high-rise skinnies. And so this vintage kind of 70s thing going on, um, that's what the kids are wearing nowadays. It's so funny because when I talk to my students, like I forget, not even forget, my students could be my kids because they're all born like 97, 98, 99, 2000. Because remember it's 2019, right? So I'm like, wow. If I would have started early, you guys could be my kids. So when I'm talking, when I'm talking to them and I'm saying certain things, I reference Dynasty and um, um, the other day I was referencing In Living Color in a different world, and they're like, "What?" I'm like, "Oh my God, how do you not?" Denise talks to how do you not film in college? And they're like, "Don't know what you're talking about." Um, <laughs> so I say that to say to them, this is vintage. This is a vintage cut, and so I really like it myself. Anyway. Um, but yeah, this is BDG and I got it because it was high-waisted and because of this detail around the waist um, So, you know, everybody seems to be selling Miss Me but me So, but I got it anyway I don't know if this was a brand that was hot and that was hot no more But when I find it at the thrift store, I get it um, You know, being half off This is a size 33, this is a Miss Me skinny jean I don't know if this is hot anymore. It must be in that like true religion family. I don't know. You guys let me. I don't I don't I don't personally think that this is in style right now, but there there is a customer for this type of embellishment on the behind. Um and it was hot and so I don't know. Tell me if it's not, because Miss Me is missing me. Okay? <laughs> Literally missing me in sales. Um these are another pair. Why am I buying? Just for punishment. Um, did I buy? I got sworn I bought the ones. The flare, the Banana Republic. Oh, maybe not. I thought I did. Um, zero petite flare jean. I believe that I, you know, flare is why I got it. Flare jeans are in. Um, and that's why I got it because I know I'm looking for some. I'm still looking for flare jeans. I've looked on Anthropology. Um, they have they have a plus size section now. 
there's some eloquy ones um, you guys have been every time you guys see plus size flare you send it to me so thank you I'm still trying to decide which ones I want and if I want to get them right now it's still too hot um, especially down here but I'm going to New York at the end of the month with my students and we're not supposed to wear jeans but I'm going out to dinner at some point and I'll change you know from my day clothes into jeans and then we'll all go out to um, to dinner so I'm thinking I want to wear flare jeans because it will be a little bit cooler up there I don't know how cool it is cause it's gonna be a, I mean it's been a heat wave forever um, these are some Joe's flare jeans. They're not extreme flare like free people, um, which is what I'm looking for and what is like really, like really, really, really hot right now. But yeah, so that's it. I thought I got the Banana Republic ones, but I was probably like so busy filming I didn't pick them up or something had to happen because I was really excited about those and I mentioned them in the um, video. Okay, so the dust is getting to me. I'm feeling a tickle in my throat. And Riley's beating down the door because she wants, and there are bikes going past my window. So it's time to go. Riley's beating down the door. My parents are calling me. Bikes are going past the, the window. I guess it's time to end this video. <laughs> but as I was saying, um, Ruth and I, my friend Ruth, I'll leave the video up here, the last video that we did at the West Palm Beach outlets. We're going to West Palm Beach. I don't know if we're going to go next week or the week after. We're going to go before October is left, before October is out. And so that'll be a video to look forward to. And then I'm doing something else. I think I'm going to go to Miami um, before the month is out because I'm going to give the bins a try again. Okay, it's fall. I'm thinking they may have some really great jackets and coats for you guys. And it's cooler. Remember I said I told you in one of my I told you in the last video that when it gets cooler, I could it's probably I don't know if it's gonna be bearable, but I'm gonna go for you guys. I'm gonna take one for the team. So love you, we never pay retail. Let me go and get dinner ready and what is it? The suction thing out of my nose. Salt. I'm going to salt the saline my nose and get this whole allergy thing together because I'm not feeling too good. All right. So look forward to me and Ruth's video going to the bins. And, you know, if I stop in and out these streets, I got to record it and take you with me. Right. All right. Love you. We never pay retail. Mwah. And this stuff will be up on Poshmark by the end of the week. I'm going to start now, actually, after I put dinner on. I'm going to start, especially the coats. I'm going to put them up for you guys because I know you guys are ready to slay for the fall darlings. Bye.